Cancer. Welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. So if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. So what is the central theme? So the central theme of your reading today is community. Community. What is currently on Cancer's mind um, July 1st through the 15th of 2018? What is currently on Cancer's mind? Three cards. What's going on in Cancer's mind? Two, so we have money. Completions. There's completions here, completing something. There could be a graduation. Okay. Alright, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about financial abundance. Uh, this is a completion. Tens are all about completions. So this is uh, long-term financial security. That's something that's on your mind permanent success, extreme wealth, the best of everything, um, family businesses, inheritance, um, taking calculated risks. You could be taking care of an elderly family member with this card. All right, and then we have the world. This is a major life event. This is also a completion. This ends the major arcana. This is card number 21, the world. Uh, so this is lasting success. So you're thinking about lasting success. Cycles completing, perfection, attainment, notoriety, awards, promotions, graduation, receiving praise, ceremonies, good health, uh, coming full circle. And then we have the Empress, which is another major arcana card, a major life event. Um, so with the Empress in the reverse, there's a lack of growth, being unproductive, a lack of stability, lack of development. It's just not the right time. There's a poor self-image here. There's neglect. There could be affairs, immaturity, lethargy laziness, manipulation, overeating. So that's what's on your mind. Uh, you're thinking about something that's been completed or is going to complete how to gain lasting success, lasting financial security, how, how to gain skills, how to... Um, but you're also worried about your weight. You're also worried about the lack of progress in obta obtaining the completion, how long it's actually taking you to obtain it. What's going on in Cancer's family and home life? What's going on in Cancer's family and home life? Three cards for Cancer's family and home life. Three cards for Cancer's family and home life. Gave me four. Okay, so there's a theme in your family and home life of twos. And twos are all about choice. Uh, there's choice balancing the scales. So the first one we have is the Hierophant. So there's tradition, there's legacy here. This is Taurus energy, so this could be a Taurus. Oh, um, the with what's on your mind, uh, the world doesn't really have a specific sign attached to it. I always see it as a Capricorn because it's ruled by Saturn, uh, but it, it could be any sign. The Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. It's Earth energy. It's very stable, solid. Um, and then the Empress, I always see that as Virgo. Uh, but a lot of people also see it as Taurus, Taurus or Virgo energy. Um, so this is this is Taurus. This is the card of Taurus, and this is tradition, legacy, religion, a counselor, giving your power away, blindly following, surrendering free will, 
believing whatever you're told, um, an initiation, doing what everyone expects of you, being stuck in the past, afraid to rock the boat. And then I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a delay, there's lack of motivation, feeling weighed down, there's a need to exercise here. There's a lost opportunity, a lack of planning or foresight. We're getting a lot of earth energy here. Um, earth is all about finances or health. Um, finances or health. Uh, it could also be at, like a start of a new relationship or a new relationship didn't take off. A new financial prospect didn't take off. Um, it was something traditional. It wasn't something unorthodox. Uh, and it just didn't take off. Then I have the Two of Swords. So there's difficult choices here, painful decisions. You can't think clearly. You're turning a blind eye. This is Libra uh, energy. This is eye balance. It's very diplomatic, fair, peaceful, partner oriented. Um, loves arts and fine things. Good taste. All about justice. It's saying you're exactly where you deserve to be. It's balanced. And then we have the Two of Wands. And this is the fourth card. This is the one that wanted to come out. So we have, uh, on your mind, it's all about completion. But in your family and home life, it's all about choices. Choices is the theme. So we have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands, um, is about decisions, deciding of, to move, um, decision, deciding a course of action that you want to take. Should I stay? Should I go? A need for excitement. Something's holding you back here. You feel bored and discontent. This is the card of Aries. And Aries is fire energy. It's all about ambition, aggression, um, it's I am me, it's self-assertive, it's strong, it's a go-getter, it takes initiative, um, can be somewhat argumentative, can be somewhat selfish, uh, can be demanding, but it tries new things. So I am seeing some conflict in your home and family life right now. Uh, there's some conflict between this lost opportunity and the choices that you have ahead. And you're turning a blind eye to them. You don't want to see. You, you, there's tradition. There's legacy here. You don't want to rock the boat. Or someone doesn't want to rock the boat. So because of that there's this lost opportunity because someone didn't want to rock the boat there's this lost opportunity and you're turning a blind eye and now you're trying to decide where to go next should you go back to the past or should you because you have the world in your hand you can go anywhere that you want with this card the world's your oyster and there's just choices that's the theme, choices. Alright, so what's going on in Cancer's romantic, romantic life? What's going on in Cancer's, okay, so I have the King of Pentacles reversed. What else is going on in Cancer's romantic life? There's two more cards for Cancer's romantic life. Okay, apathy, four of cups, and the six of pentacles reversed. Okay, so I have the king of pentacles, and he's in the reverse. So when the king of pentacles reverses, there could be some financial loss. Maybe you, you're spending too much on, on dating or going out with friends. Um, there's a, a collapse here. 
it could be talking about a person, a person who isn't successful, who may be unemployed. Um, the King of Pentacles is a Virgo energy, so it's someone who analyzes, someone who's helpful, um, but in the, in the reverse, they'd be very critical, fault-finding, worrisome, um, hypochondriac, uh, fussy, standoffish, likes to be alone, likes to take time out. Um, Who always asks for your advice could be like an asshole someone who asks for your advice and then never follows it and then we have the four of cups so the four of cups is being moody depressed apathetic this is your energy this is cancer energy not seeing what you have looking at what you don't have sitting there you have you have this beautiful mermaid and all you care about are all these cups that you don't have and then I have this or someone else just isn't is it appreciating you this is someone who's not appreciating you and then I have the six of pen where you're not appreciating somebody else we have Virgo, Cancer, and then we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is Taurus energy. We have Taurus again. We have a lot of Taurus energy here. Um, so we could be talking about Taurus. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse, um, their selfishness, one-sided relationships, depression, so whatever relationship that you're in socially, um, it's all one-sided. It's not going both ways. There's a lot of apathy, just not and taking for granted. All right, what's gonna help uh, cancer? What's gonna help cancer to progress? What's gonna help? Two more cards for cancer. All in the reverse. Okay. Um, again, divisible twos. Twos are a theme throughout this reading. Everything is divisible by two. We have ten. We have eight. We have four. We have six. Everything is divisible by two. So it's all about choices. Your reading is all about choices and community. Alright, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eights are about change, movement, action. Uh, the, the Eight of Pentacles reversed is um, there's a lack of ambition, not focusing. There's no commitment here. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. There's greed, materialism, self-protection. So the Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. This is Capricorn. The Four of Pentacles reverse is Capricorn. So again, we're getting all this Earth energy. Earth is all about being practical, grounded, dependable, not taking risks, materialistic. But they're people that you can count on. They're conservative, sensual, logical, slow and steady. They're builders. They're loyal, stable, practical. They keep it real. They can be stubborn, but they work hard. Uh, they put plans into actions. They're set in their ways, their routines, their habits, their security, their intelligence. They're determined. They're bullheaded, um, especially Taurus. They're perfectionists, they're patient, they're compromising, they hate change, and this is all about change. This is all about change, and Earth hates change. 
So there's a lot of conflict here. I'm seeing a lot of conflict here because this is all about change. And Earth hates change. Think about Earth. Earth doesn't want to be moved. Earth doesn't want to be disturbed. Air, it loves to go. You can't control air. Air loves to move. Air loves to change. Water, you're a water sign. It loves to flow. And then I have the Six of Pentacles. In the reverse, again, we have this Earth energy. Uh, so the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is, uh, again, this one-sided charity. So in order to help you, it's all about, you know, realizing that this is just a one-sided relationship. Um, it's not so something that you can count on. It's not dependable. It's not practical. There needs to be a change, but you don't want this change. You want things to complete. <laughs> right, what's going on with Cancer's money? What's going on with Cancer's money? So we have the High Priestess reversed, the King of Cups, Oh, and temperance reverse. So there's definitely conflict because we have all these water cards. So it's very emotionally, like you're emotionally tied to your money. And then we have this fire. And fire and water don't mix. Fire boils water and water puts out fire. So there are two elements that don't mix, just like air and earth don't mix. So there's definitely a conflict here. When the high priestess reverses, okay, so the high priestess, first of all, it represents a Pisces. It has that Pisces energy. It's a water sign, just like Cancer is a water sign. Um, Pisces ends the zodiac. So Pisces have, has lived through all of the lessons of the zodiac, and they're the final lesson, the, the ending of the zodiac. Uh, so when the High Priestess reverses, and Pisces is all about intuition, um, being ultra sensitive, being intuitive. So, um, the High Priestess is all about intuition. She sits between two pillars, one marked B, one marked J, which stands for Boaz and Hakim, which in English stands for strength and unity. She holds the Torah in her hand, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. She has her foot on the moon, controlling her emotions, because the moon represents emotions. Cancer is also ruled by the moon, which makes cancer the most emotional sign. Um, in this one, particularly, there's a lot of water. Water represents emotions. So she's being just poured out with this water. And so this is all about emotion. And whenever it reverses, your emotions are taking control of you. So no longer are you in control of your emotions. Your emotions are now in control of you. So financially, money-wise, your emotions are in control of you. So it's in control of your money. Your emotions are in control of your money. And there isn't any strength here in terms of your money. There isn't any unity in terms of your money. There's not using your intuition. There's ignoring your inner calling. There's a lack of knowledge in terms of investments. You're not listening. You're being impatient because you want these completions. So you're being impatient here. You're not being aware of talents that you possess. You're not utilizing your skills. Um, you're being overly reliant on psychics. You're being, well, lazy here. All right, and then we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is, again, Pisces energy. So Pisces is deep, sensitive, romantic, um, full of addiction. So you could be spending your money on addiction alcohol addiction, drug addiction, uh, could be taking a lot of your money. All 
Alright, so I have the King of Cups and the King of Cups. Um, and he's in the upright, so that's good. He's deep wisdom. He's loving, he's friendly, he's a counselor, he's a doctor, he's a guru, he's a teacher, he's a psychologist. He gives good advice, he provides a shoulder to cry on. Uh, he helps in raising children, so you could be raising a child. Um, he tries to keep everyone calm. He's secretive. He's a natural healer. He has a deep need to help those that are emotionally damaged and find a creative outlet. So you're either spending your money on addiction or on some sort of creative outlet that you feel like is going to bring more money in the future. And then we have Temperance Reverse. We had two major arcana cards, major life events, and just one day-to-day -day character card uh, here. So then I have Temperance, and Temperance is in the reverse. So this is inappropriate behavior, wrong action, imbalances, poor timing, not learning lessons, being overindulgent. You need, to, there's a need for financial counseling here. And this is Sagittarius energy. This is uh, being outgoing, optimistic, taking risks, um, being talkative. Um, so in terms of Cancer's career, three cards for Cancer's career, please. Going on in terms of the guys I have. Them. Cancer's Okay, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, and the Tower reversed. Your career is not going very well. I'm just going to be straight up and honest with you. There's, there, because the Tower is reversed, there was some damage control. So the Nine of Pentacles, we'll start with that. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. There's being over invested in work. There's financial obstacles. This is the part of Virgo, but not being abundant, not getting the results for your hard work. Working really hard, but you're not getting the results here. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So there's no new beginnings. There's confusion. There's chaos. There's a lack of clarity, but there isn't any new beginnings here and then we have the tower reversed and this is a major life event this is uh, getting out of the way salvaging damage control advanced warning of change salvaging what has already been ruined or being tipped off that something's about to happen so, I mean, it's not too bad. You're, you're getting the advanced warning that something bad's going to happen. Um, so you can make steps in order to change it. But there isn't any new beginnings here. There's no new communication. And you're over-invested in this. There's a lot of conflict here. The Nine of Pentacles would be an Earth energy. The Ace of Swords is air, so there's change, and you want everything to stay the same, to stay solid, stable, uh, but there's change here, so that's conflicting. That's causing a lot of conflict. But this change is going really well with the damage control of the tower. The tower is Aries energy, uh, so that's fire energy. It's it's like a volcano, it just erupts. But you have that advanced warning. 
Well, Cancer, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, have a wonderful day.